The unemployment rate uh, initially spiked up to 14.7%. Prior to COVID, it was at near all-time record highs. The last time you saw an unemployment rate of 3.5%, which is what it was in February, was in the early 1950s following World War II. So it's been a long time since we, we've had that level of prosperity that we were seeing in January and February. And then what, once we had to shut down all businesses for COVID, that rate spiked to 14.7%. It's since come down to 10.2% uh, and probably even a little bit lower now that we saw the initial jobless claims and the continuing claims coming down this morning. So uh, it's gonna take a bit of time, but I, I certainly see by the end of this year, we'll be at you know high single digits and then it'll probably take another half a year to year to get back to pre-pandemic levels on the unemployment rate. And that's really gonna depend on the election. You know, uh, as far as the election goes, one side wants to increase the corporate tax rate, which would slow growth, and the other side wants to reduce taxes even more, which in the short term would help the recovery speed up a bit faster. So the election has a lot to do with how quickly we can get back to pre-pandemic levels on, on unemployment. Obviously, we're still having spike ups in different regions, but overall, the case count is slowly but surely coming down, and the market is starting to look forward to this. And we saw it this morning alone with initial jobless claims, with continuing claims beating expectations, and naturally with the unemployment rate continuing to drop. So, so long as we continue to have the earnings and the economic data come in, the vaccine good news and the new cases dropping, uh, we're gonna have really good economic results moving forward.